Uh, what am I gonna do with this place? Nobody can work in this mess. I gotta get out of here. Oh. Oh. If you guys are anything like me, you just can't work in a space like that. And I have been putting that off for months, maybe even a year. Once it gets that way, it's hard to come back from. The sun is finally shining here in Portland and it's time for some spring cleaning. It's not gonna get any easier the longer I put it off, so let's just get to it. So as I do this, I'm trying to just loosely pile things in rough categories. Off camera, there's a scrap metal pile, pile of tools, um, pile of stuff I don't know what to do with yet. I'm mostly just trying to make more space to get this engine out of here. Um, and then this whole area can be clear and I can actually walk back and forth. Craigslist success, got rid of that motor, got rid of a bunch of scrap metal. Um, all that stuff is all gone, so that makes a lot more space. Yay, Craigslist. Well, it's better. I have like three cars worth of parts that I'm storing for two different project cars from three. Anyway, now there's more space for other storage stuff. I have parts for my Civic that I have to put up there, um, but there's less of those, so that shouldn't take up as much space.
that is so much better. But why was that so hard? For me, one of my biggest struggles was just getting started. So tip number one, start somewhere. I chose to start with the tall bike because it was the biggest thing that was gonna give me the most amount of space right away. Clear more space, it'll get easier. Tip number two, as a messy person, I was being tricked by these old sayings that just weren't working for me. They say everything has a home. Well, that may be true, but for me, that didn't work. I realized everything has a purpose. And instead of trying to force myself to be motivated to put something away arbitrarily because, oh, well, that's its home, that's where it belongs. Instead, I think about what is this for? I need this in a particular location and I'm motivated to keep it there because I'm gonna need to use it there in the future. Group similar items together. Well, that didn't work for me either. I realized what I really needed to do was group things by their function or their task. I moved my grinder right next to my lathe because I use it to grind my lathe tooling. I moved the wire brush right next to my bandsaw because I almost always use it to deburr edges or to clean rust. Which leads me into tip number three, which is to prioritize your tools and storage based on your specific needs in your particular shop. I was stuck in this box and this old mindset that hand tools go in the toolbox. I realized that I hardly use any of those things, so I moved all of the tools out that I don't use and put them away on a shelf to be accessed some other time. I put all of the tools that I use every single day in the most accessible spots. So before you start organizing, think about what you use every day and the kinds of projects and the size of materials that you need. Material storage can be a massive part of what takes up space in your shop. For tip number four, I'm going with try new things until something clicks. I tried a few different configurations before I found something that I thought might help my workflow. I had a strong feeling for a long time that things weren't quite right, but I didn't know what to do about it to make it better. You just have to try something new and see if it works for you or not. And if that doesn't work, try something else new. Move tools around. Try different things until something really clicks. We'll see if this works, and if it doesn't, I'll try moving things around again and see if that's better. One of the last, I'd say, idioms that was really hanging me up was this idea that you should put things back as soon as you're done using them. I found searching online another saying that I like a lot better, and that's utilize the drop zone. If you put something down, for example, I'm gonna put something down right here at the lathe because this is where I work. I realize that what I need to do is roll my rolling tool cart <laughs> over here, set it right next to me so that then, voila, now I can work at the lathe and my lathe tools are right there. I don't have to worry about putting them away because that's where they belong. I'm really looking forward to embracing the drop zone in as many areas in this shop as I possibly can, like here at the bandsaw and over at my drill press. Some future videos will have some custom 3D printed tool holders that are gonna really make my drop zone even more efficient. Oh, wait, was that five tips? I think that was five. I think I'm up to five now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.